This video is going to show how to create MDF raised panel doors using Cabinet Parts Pro. We will first need to learn the offsets that we need to create a profiled door. And to do this, I use VCarve Pro uh, CAD software where I've modeled out the bits that I'm going to use to create the profile and then also to give trim everything away to see what that profile is going to look like. The offsets that I'm talking about is from the edge of the door to the center of each bit. Um, so we've got a total of three different profiles using two bits. So we have one that creates the raised panel section, which is this section over here. Then we're using the same bit to create the bead profile and the edge profile. So we're going to write these numbers down um, along with our depth. I've also added a, um, a little bit of an offset between the two. It is possible to not have that little notch there, but adding that notch adds a little bit of a line feature and it makes it a little easier when you're zeroing out bits to where you don't have to be as precise on where your Z0 is from one bit to the other. If you try to get them exact, is possible, but you might end up having a, a line there that you have to sand out. Even if your zeros are absolutely perfect, it is a, uh, a directional um, type of thing that happens. So even if they're perfect, you still might end up with a line. Uh, so it is um, a little easier and uh, to put that feature in. So the raised panel bit is not going as deep as the bit that's going to create the bead. So now that we have these numbers written down, we're going to go over to Cabinet Parts Pro and look at how to add a user option. Uh, the user option that we are going to add is for MDF doors. We're going to start by going into our cabinet settings using the cabinet type drop down list. We're going to scroll down to select doors. We're going to set the checkbox to use user options then come down to our user options button and select the button to add a new feature going to enter in a name MDF doors it can be named whatever you'd like the cabinet type that we want to have this option apply to is doors so I'm going to scroll down and select doors set the option or check the box for user use scripting and now select the button to open up the script and click doors then open finally click save changes and we can now close all of our settings now to enter in the offsets that we need, we need to add a, a menu item uh, to our settings. Uh, so we can add it in two different places. One, our toolbar, or under the tools menu, or actually anywhere we'd like. Uh, but to add that, we will right click in the menu bar, select customize, come down to commands, then all commands. We have a user setting button here, so we're gonna click that and drag it up into our toolbar. So we could see we have a new menu item now. We could close. Now clicking the user settings, we have an MDF doors button. That MDF doors, that name is coming from the name that we named that feature. So whatever you named it there is going to be also named the same on this button selecting we're clicking the button we now see we have three sections or groupings of settings for each profile for the bits so we have the raised panel the inside edge or the bead and the door edge so for the raised panel bit um, we could just as a reminder go back to vcarve pro and take a look at what we have there that is again from the edge of the door to the center of the bit. So for the raised panel is 2.6991. The depth, I'm going to go 
minus 0.33. It's a minus because we're going down into the material. The door inside edge or the, the bead of the raised panel door is 2.3813 with a depth of minus 3 eighths of an inch or 0.375. Now the edge or the outer edge profile, it's offset to the outside of the door. So that's gonna enter as a negative number. Going back to VCarve Pro to look at our drawing to see that the center of this bit is on the outside of the edge of the door. So we've entered in a negative 0.179 with a depth of minus 3 eighths of an inch. We could close the door settings. Now to quickly enter in just a door, if we're just creating MDF doors and not cabinets, we already have the cabinets, we just need to have doors made for it. We're going to use the cabinet type, selecting doors. Notice that we have a user option button that uh, checked opened up, that is automatically checked because we told it to use this script for creating doors. The part name is also doors. We could enter in the height, we'll go 30 inches with a depth of 15. That's actually the width of the door. And how many of these that we want? So we want two of them. Select add cabinet, or that's adding it to our list of items that we want to nest. So once you get the doors entered in, the sizes entered in, we'll click calculate cabinet parts and nest. That takes us to part nester and we can now see the two doors that we've entered in with our lines representing the offsets or the center line to the bits. We also for tool pathing, I'm not going to talk about tool pathing too much here, there's another video for that, but just to show that we have the different uh, layers here. So we have the panel, the bead, edge, and cut. So you would select the panel, enter in the you really don't need to do the diameters because you will be choosing to do offsets on the line for the panel bit, the bead, the edge, and then the cut is actually setting to the outside. So another video on tool paths, but just to point out again, the panel, bead, and edge all need to be tool pathed on the line. So remember when you change this, also click save as template. So now let's take a look at how to have doors automatically be calculated for the cabinets that we have entered. So I'm going to close Part Nester, select to create a new job, and now we're going to go into Cabinet Settings. I'm going to select a wall cabinet, add the checkbox to add doors and drawer fronts. And also going to do the same for a base cabinet. Add doors to drawers, doors and drawer fronts. We also need to set the material that we're going to use for our doors. Um, so coming down to material, we will see doors are uh, MDF. That's that's good. That's already set. But the drawer fronts, I also want to set that to MDF. And. Uh, I typed it in, but if you have multiples, it's safer if you do a right-click copy and a right-click paste. That's that way to ensure that you have both of them named exactly uh, the same. It might just so you don't get an extra space or any of that, because if there is an extra space, it will end up nesting on another sheet uh, or think that it's a different type of material just because it has a little space there. So I'm going to close the material settings. Now just check that one more time. MDF, and I want to apply to all cabinet types. And just verify going to the wall cabinet that the material is also MDF for the doors and drawer fronts. One last thing we're going to take a look at in the settings, and that is the door settings. This is how it calculates what size the door is going to be. 
So the first one is a single door less than 21 inches. That means that any door that is greater than 21 inches or any cabinet that is greater than 21 inches, we will end up dividing and getting two doors for that cabinet. The side reveal and height reveal is basically how much less in width the doors are going to be than the opening of the cabinet. So if we entered in a cabinet that is 15 wide, 30 high, we're going to get a door that is 14 and 7 eighths wide by 29 and 7 eighths high. Um, or if we enter in a cabinet of 30 inches wide by 30 inches high, that is greater than 21 inches, so we're going to get two doors of 14.75, 14 and 7 eighths wide by 29 and 7 eighths high. So we'll close the door settings, close our settings, and clicking new to set up a new job. We see that we have now doors and drawer fronts added to our cabinet list. Select that cabinet and it's automatically checked. We could enter in the dimensions for this cabinet of 30 wide, 30 high, 12 deep, and however many of that cabinet we want. Select Add Cabinet, then Calculate Parts and Nest. Part Nester will now open. We could see that it takes uh, three sheets, so we're viewing sheet three of three using the slider bar. Across the top, we can see the material for the last two sheets is plywood, and then uh, the first sheet is material is three-quarter MDF, and here are the four doors created for those two cabinets entered in. And again, if you hover over top of the door or the part, it will give you the sizes of that part. So that is how we use and set up Cabinet Parts Pro to create raised panel doors.